Dog Research brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thanks to DigiKey every single week. Lady Ada, user power of engineering, help you, yes, you find the things that you are looking for. This week, we tuned into X, formerly known as Twitter, to help find something that someone's looking for. What is it this week, Lady Ada? Okay, so this week, I'm going to open up DigiKey. Um, this week, uh, somebody asked for a, because I actually like to look for the phrase DigiKey and search or DigiKey and find or like request. And um, there's always somebody who's asking, hey, I want to, they, it's, they, it's quite nice. They usually have a photo of the thing they want. They're like, I have a photo of this thing and I want it. Where can I get this? But they want something slightly different. So this is uh, a terminal strip. And most people are familiar with terminal blocks. We use a screw terminal, a screwdriver to attach wires and you can solder them in. So these terminal strips uh, are kind of like an ancient technology. Um, they have these solder lugs. So those three little things that stick out, they have holes so you can put a wire through and wrap it from a strong mechanical connection. And they're meant to make it so you can attach like three or four wires. So instead of a breadboard where you plug the wires in and then maybe they can come loose, or even if you have um, a perf board where you know they could, you, you may not be able to mount it easily, these are designed if you want to make multi-point connections. So normally that middle one, the one that has a little tab, that's ground. And so you would attach that to your chassis ground. And then you'd have, you know, maybe a power and signal and, you know, ground, and you could have as many, you, as many wires as you want to wrap around into the little holes. And you usually get, again, like three or four wires. Um, and then you solder them in and you're good to go, or you can use, you know, spade lugs as well to um, connect to the, the terminal lugs. Um, so this person says, okay, I want something like this, but I want lugs on both sides. And, you know, I think somebody even applied and said, hey, I'm sure DigiKey has it, but let's look on DigiKey to prove it. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so first off, we want, uh, remember terminal blocks, I'll just show terminal blocks to show the difference. Terminal blocks look like this. They have the screws and then there's barrier blocks. Barrier blocks are actually a little bit similar, but barrier blocks, um, they they solder down into something. And unlike terminal blocks where, well, terminal, the pin goes in, terminates, and you screw it down. These can actually connect to wires like in um, in the path of going, right? You can, you can direct, connect from either direction, or you, if you really want to, you can actually get a wire underneath even in the middle of the wire, although how you would strip it is, you know, a little mystery to me. Um, so these, and then what's nice is, what I do like about them is they have, that, again, that nice barrier, so you don't have to worry about accidentally shorting the wire. There's like, as long as you strip it as little as possible, um, there's a little risk for the wire to go through. Uh, so these are just, you know, explaining that these, if you're looking for terminal strips, these might also be good for you, um, but they're they're categorized differently. And then they, you know, there's special terminal blocks and power distribution, but we particularly want terminal strips. It's actually interesting because it's it's not terminal as an ending. I think it's terminal as in it's like you from there you can go elsewhere. I don't know what the terminal strip uh, phrasing is. Okay, so these are called terminal strips and turret boards. I'll admit I do not know what a turret board is. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I guess it's like it's a little like a wire wrapping thing here so well this is kind of neat i do not know what turret boards are for but these look kind of uh useful there's also binding posts um so these are also going to be phenolic uh and then you know you can solder um see the little tab with the hole you solder the tab and then you can screw down to connect other wires so just another power and signal distribution uh method this would be particularly good on an enclosure you, you, you'd cut a strip in the enclosure you would attach it to the outside of the enclosure with the um, lugs inside. You connect inside to the lugs and then um, screw on the outside if you want to connect to it. You know, one of these, to be fair, a lot of times where you see this is ham radio kits. Um, I remember like Heath kit products often had these devices. So um, the good news is that like, you know, this is exactly what the person was saying they didn't want, which is good, it means we're at least in the right category. And it looks like um, Keystone has a lot of uh, options in this family. So what I would always recommend is check out the data sheet, because in this case, um, Keystone in particular, they will tell you all your configurations available. And it looks like they do, in fact, have a couple different options, um, 35, 36, and 37, which are part numbers 
834, 835, and 836 are all going to be double tabbed. Oh, sorry, sorry with 33. So figure 33, 832, 833, and 831. So we could look for uh, Keystone, we look at in stock. <laughs> and then if we scroll down, we'll see 836. Yep, so it's got the lugs on both sides. This is five um, connections. This is the 836. So let's look for the uh, 830. Whoops, sorry. 830 terminal strips, 832. And so that's the first one. And then 833. Sorry, terminal strips. This doesn't have a photo. And then 835. Also in the photo. Available to order. Looks like if you basically want it, you can either get the 832, which is like a single or you can get the 836. So I'm just gonna recommend you get the 836. It's a dollar a piece, and then you just cut it down if you need something smaller, but you get uh, five double-ended lugs and then one grounding lug at the end. So uh, person on X, congratulations. It's a dollar at DigiKey. You can pick some up. It's in stock right now, like over a thousand. Where